And oath really just has three little parts in it. It says you're going to do your best um, and that you're going to do your duty. And it's a promise to do those two things. And you're going to hear all that built into a very simple statement. So uh, without further ado, if I can ask Dr. Driver to join me at the front. If you'd raise your right hand, repeat after me. I, Darian Driver. I, Darian Driver. Who have been appointed. Who have been appointed. Acting Superintendent. Acting Superintendent. Swear that I will support. Swear that I will support. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Wisconsin. And the Constitution of the State of Wisconsin. And will faithfully discharge. And will faithfully discharge. The duties of this office. The duties of this office. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. Congratulations. <laughs> Looking out today and to see all of your faces, um, this is definitely the way to start. And it just reminds me that the things that connect all of us is our passion, our belief in public education, and the power that it can do, the things that it can do for our young people as it did for all of us. And so thank you all for being here. And I just have a few things that I'd like to share uh, with all of you this morning. Uh, first to President Bonds, Director Falk, and to all of the Board of Directors, uh, thank you for having confidence in me and for uh, pointing me to this position. I humbly and I willingly accept uh, this position as Acting Superintendent of Milwaukee Public Schools. And I thank all of you uh, for this opportunity to serve you and to serve the community that surrounds us. I'm proud to have served as Chief Innovation Officer for the past two years. And Milwaukee is truly a place that I call home. And um, the idea that all of us are in this together as we try to transform the lives for young people, it's a reason to get up in the morning. And, and I see all the heads nodding and things of that nature, and I know that this is going to be a fantastic year for all of us. And we're on a progressive course for continuous improvement. And we've created multiple opportunities and positive outcomes for students as well as their families. And in the past year alone, student achievement is constantly increasing. Our graduating class of 2014 earned $31 million in scholarships. That's a, new record. That's a new record for our district. And the pressure is on as now we're trying to earn $35 million in scholarships for all of our young people in the class of 2015. MPS has four of the top 15 high schools in the state of Wisconsin, according to U.S. News and World Report. They're Reagan, Rufus King, Carmen High School of Science and Technology, and Milwaukee School of Languages. And we are so proud of those principals and the students in those schools as well. And of course, art, music, and Phi Ed are back in all of our schools with 142 specialists that have been hired since 2012 and 2013. So those are definitely things to celebrate. But as we look at these accomplishments, we realize we have a lot more to do. On July 28th, we go live, and I'm sure all of you already know what that go live means <laughs> for, Infinite Campus, our new student information system. And we are well on our way to being prepared uh, for that magical day. Um, in September, we're also releasing our new portal uh, redesign. And so we've been working very hard throughout the summer. Denise Calloway and her team have been working diligently uh, to get us ready for that and be better connected to the community around us. We now have parent coordinators in all of our schools continuing to build those bonds uh, to the families and the communities that support our schools. And we have school support teachers. And in the past, we've called them coaches for literacy, for math. And all of these instructional supports are designed to help us improve student achievement in all of our schools. And we recognize that professional development and focused instruction are the ways to do that. We have 14 commitment schools. Um, that we are very pleased to have announced last month that are now re receiving additional supports. And these are 14 of the 48 schools that we acknowledge and recognize as being our lowest performing for now. And we know this time next year there will be much fewer schools on that list. Um, we also have four dozen schools that have undergone major renovations through our partnership uh, with GE. And we have 17 more that are going to be going through renovations this summer. We're looking forward to that. And most importantly, all of us are on the path to continue providing unique learning experiences for all of our students every day. And while stepping into this position is an honor, we all know that you can't do it alone. And I am so fortunate to have a team that can help us carry out the charge of this magnitude. And I'd like to acknowledge them now. Christina Flood, our Chief Academic Officer. Dr. Karen Jackson, our Chief of Human Capital. Michelle Nate, 
our CEO, Chief of Human, excuse me, Chief of Operations. I'm sorry, Michelle, I see you back there smiling. <laughs> Gerald Pace, our Chief Financial Officer. Dr. Keith Posley, our Chief of School Administration. And Sue Saller, our Executive Coordinator to the Superintendent. And we are also pleased to welcome two more members to our team. Mr. Herbert Johnson, who will serve our Chief of Staff and a position very close to my heart, Ms. Ruth Magley, who's going to be serving as our Acting Chief Innovation Officer. But we also have our soldiers who are on the ground every day, and those are our regional superintendents. And I'd like to acknowledge Ms. Catrice Cotton, who's our regional superintendent for the East Region, Mr. Jesse Rodriguez, Woo! our regional Jesse! superintendent for the Southwest. <laughs> Who has a fan base? <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Anita Sparks, who's our regional superintendent for the Innovation Zone. Mr. Dennis Queen, who we say farewell to, our regional superintendent for the Epic Northwest. <laughs> <laughs> and Mr. Reginald Lawrence, who's our regional superintendent for the Central Region. And well, just on a lasting note, I just want to remind us that all of our students come to us every day with unlimited potential. And it's our job to maximize that potential working together, staying focused to make sure that we're improving achievement for all of our students and every opportunity, and that has to be our top priority. And our students' success is our success. And when one of them does well, all of us do well. It's a reflection of the work that we've all put forth together. And our victory lies within each classroom and the magic of teaching and learning that happens within this space is our core business. I believe that we must cultivate leadership at all levels. We must develop a pipeline of teacher leaders, of principals, of district administrators who are mission focused and results oriented to ensure that we sustain the work that we have done thus far. Providing our students with a world class education that prepares them for life beyond graduation is a non-negotiable. I believe in the power of public education and I know that it can transform lives because it transformed mine and it prepared me for where I am today. And my vision is that all of our students have access to and benefit from a transformative learning experience. Yeah, right. So as a teacher, a coordinator, a deputy chief, a chief, and now as an acting superintendent, mm -hmm. I understand that the educational landscape is, landscape is ever changing. But as a team, we are so well prepared for the challenges that lie ahead of us. And so to President Bonds, Director Falk, and the members of the school board, I thank you again for this tremendous opportunity. Team, we are so well poised to do great things for all of our children. And now it's our time to make it happen. Thank you. Now it's time to go to work. <laughs>